Hello everyone! Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Marie. Today I want to show you how to bake a chocolate cake. Then I'll demonstrate how to prepare a chocolate buttercream frosting to go with it. You'll be surprised that such a rich tasty cake can be produced in just a few simple steps using common ingredients. Let's get started. Our first step is to prepare the batter. These are the ingredients. May I remind you that the full recipe is also provided in the description box below this video. First, we'll bloom the cocoa powder. We'll do this by pouring hot water on it. Stir it vigorously and it will dissolve quickly and release its chocolatey flavor. Then, set it aside to cool down. Next, drop the butter and granulated sugar into a mixing bowl. Use a hand mixer and mix on low speed for about one minute. Then increase to high speed for another three minutes or until it is light and fluffy. We have just incorporated loads and loads of fine bubbles into the mixture and this will help make your cake soft and spongy. Next, shift in the flour and baking powder. Then add the cocoa liquid, eggs, vanilla extract, and salt. The purpose of the salt is to balance the sugar sweetness and enhance the overall taste of the cake. We'll blend by hand all the ingredients some. Now mix on medium speed to combine. It will take about two minutes. When it's done, the batter should be smooth with no lumps, like this. Step 2 is baking the cake. We'll line two cake pans with parchment paper. This makes unmolding the cake so much easier later. Make sure the batter is evenly divided between the two pans. the pans firmly on the counter a few times to release any large trapped air bubbles. Bake them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. You can confirm whether the cakes are done by inserting a test skewer in the centers. When the skewer comes out clean, they're done. Let them cool on wire racks for at least two hours. Step three is to prepare the frosting. These are the ingredients. We'll start by slicing the room temperature butter into smaller pieces. Beat the butter until it's fluffy, which takes about 2 minutes. Next, mix in the powdered sugar. We'll add it gradually a third at a time. Ok, 
Okay, this is the last of the sugar. You can add the heavy cream now. This cream is going to intensify the chocolate flavor even more. Continue to mix for another minute or until everything is well distributed. Next, shift in the cocoa powder. Then add the vanilla extract and the salt. Stir to moisten the cocoa powder first, then continue to mix with the hand mixer until everything is well combined. About one minute. The finished frosting should be smooth and spreadable. We'll put it in the refrigerator until it's time to use it. In a few minutes, the color will turn darker. Step number four is frosting the cake. I'm placing a cake platter on a turntable to make the job easier. Put one tablespoon of frosting in the center to help secure the cake. Place the first cake layer down. Using a spatula, spread the top with frosting about one third inch thick. Put the second cake on top and cover the top and sides. Use a spatula to make random swirls to create a swooping design. This is a quick way to decorate a cake. Now, my favorite part of this whole process, tasting the cake. This looks so delectable. Enjoy! I appreciate you spending time with me today. Please feel free to share this video with your friends. And also don't forget to click like and subscribe. Happy baking!